So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I shot a music video on a zero dollar budget and how you can do it too. So stay tuned. So when it comes to shooting a music video, link in the description of a full video of how I shot and edit it. But in this video, for the purpose of being budget friendly and how you guys can actually shoot a music video, I'm going to actually show you guys how I shot this video on a zero dollar budget, essentially. And what I used to film was this mechanical stabilizer by Newer. I'm not sponsored by them, but this is a good budget alternative and I use this for all my tracking and my wrapping shots. And you guys already know, I filmed and shot this on my Nikon D5200 on not even this Sigma lens that I'm using right now, but an 18 to 50 kit lens, believe it or not, as well as a 35 millimeter prime. That is all I used for this video and you're seeing the visuals right now. You won't believe it, but yes, I was able to get away with that setup on pretty much a zero dollar budget. So how you film a music video on no budget is that you need to understand the basics of music videos. All essentially music videos are is that there are a bunch of lip syncing scenes that you compile in different formats. So for example, I had the talent rap his entire song in one location for the first full three minutes. And then I went to location B, which was like a park, which is free access and had him sing or rap the lyrics to that song for another three to five minutes and location three in the parking lot for three to five minutes, his song. So essentially you get the talent to recite his lines three times in three different locations. And then now you have your base layer of how the music video is gonna be cut. So that you have different variations of where the scenes are gonna go. And you're like, how do I get the talent to hear the music and rap along so it's in sync? Well, that's pretty simple. What I did was I used my phone, I put it on the speaker, I had the artist track on my phone, I put it in my pocket, and he could sing and rap along with the music on my phone that could actually be picked up by the internal mic. And then I synced it up in post and it's pretty that simple. So step or rule number one is that you have your syncing shots, your talented choreographed shots. So that's the person singing, rapping in front of the camera. And then step number two on how you shoot a really budget friendly is that you wanna get some cinematic B-roll. So what I did was I put on my Nikon a 35 millimeter 1.8 prime to get that nice, depth of field that bokeh shots for additional b-roll and as you can see here that is shot on the 35 mil 1.8 and last but not least i shot this whole entire music video for the slow motion parts believe it or not in 720p which you know some might say is a sin but when you shoot with what you have you make it work so i was able to shoot in slow motion those shots are 720p 60 frames per second slowed down and that is how I shot and filmed a music video on zero dollar budget with the camera and equipment that I do have. So when it comes to understanding music videos, you don't need to worry about the fanciest gear, the fanciest lighting and all that. You work with what you have, especially if you're just an enthusiast and you wanna go somewhere, you have to get and learn how to start in the beginning. So understand that there are some different aspects of rap or music videos, but all music videos are essentially the same. You have your, you treat this as any corporate video or interview video or whatever. You have your bottom layer, which is your narrative. And the narrative for music videos for the most part is them actually reciting and rehearsing their lines on top of additional b-roll and that additional b-roll on top is going to tell another story or have some cool looking shots so you don't get bored of the rapper or the talent or the singer reciting and singing their lines to the camera over and over because it does get a little tedious and last but not least have some creative flair on it for this video i color graded very differently and I'll show you guys that in another video, but it's good to push your boundaries and create videos that are outside of your comfort zone. You can always grow, but that is how I did it. I used the newer stabilizer for my walking shots, really cheap and affordable. And I used my Nikon D5200 
mounted on and that was all so if you want to learn how to film and edit a music video link in the description how i go more in depth about the editing process because it can get a little more tedious but i want to show you guys that budget is not being excused when it comes to creating content and my name is peter and the entire video that you're seeing now that is the music video that i actually shot filmed directed all by yours truly so you're watching broke a visionary collective where we all start with nothing but you can always create something cheers i also wanted to note that since there was no lighting no nothing when it comes to budget we also relied on the sun so i had to coordinate the time with the talent or the actress or singer so that it was a good day so no rain as well as you relying on the sun but the thing about that is you don't need to worry about bringing light kits expenses for lighting all you need is your camera a phone and an editing software and that's how you put together a music video let me know in the comments if what other videos you guys want to see